women actually are in control in Georgia. When we travel abroad, we often do this with some stereotypes in mind. I've heard enough about Georgians to form these two. One, Georgians had strong gender roles. Men, dominant, call the shots, women shy, subservient. You get the drill. Two, Georgians were extremely hospitable. Georgians say the guest is the gift of God. And I was prepared to waltz into people's houses announcing that, yes, I, the gift, have arrived all the way from Canada. But weeks of planning and I still haven't found a family who wanted to host me. I was getting upset, but figured I'd wait until I come to Georgia. If not, I would travel to some remote village and knock on doors. First day of filming, we just unpacked when I saw this man and decided to ask him some questions. About dating, obviously. Платите за нее, ухаживаете. Да, конечно. А что вы думаете вот о том, как, вот, например, в Германии или в Швеции, женщины сами за себя платят, мужчины сами за себя? Это, это мне, например, позор такой. Так вот, да. общем, для меня позор, вот, как можно. Женщину надо угостить везде, и в ресторане везде, как отдельно заплатить, это позор, в Грузии такой позор. He invited us to his car, where he, of course, had a bottle of homemade wine. We had to say yes. Посмотри, запах, и потом пей. Натуральное вино, как должно, вообще редкий, да, это домашний. Очень приятно. Да. Как вы часто пьете? Меня видели один раз обязательно. Один раз в неделю? Да, да. Обязательно? Обязательно. Конечно, надо ослаблять, надо это... Да. Один я вино никогда не пью. Это с друзьями. Наше, это настроение хорошее. Там рассказывать что-то. Когда мы гуляем, хорошо кушаем, шашлик обязательно, мясо, сыр, хачапури и так далее. Без помидоры я в жизни вино не пью. here with, how do you say your name, Tornike? Tornike. Tornike, who is my subscriber <laughs> and also is a tour guide here in Belize, which is a great coincidence. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we need this. A foreign woman is coming to Georgia. Is there anything you can say about Georgian men oh. without generalizing too much? <laughs> Well, if you like Georgian men... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good for you! <laughs> Sometimes it's hard for the Europeans, which they're trying to equal themselves with the men, and we Georgian men always trying to be, feel themselves a little bit higher. Like a man. Like a man to protect women throughout the generation. It's obligatory to respect women. a bunch of young Georgian people and just talk to them. Nice to meet you. Hey! 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 How are you? Good. Hi. Hi. Kasha, nice to meet you. Hi, Marina. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Everything is quite complicated in Georgia from my personal That's what I hear, yes. yeah. From traditional point of view, it is very strict a little bit, I think, and in the big cities like Tbilisi and other cities. It's not like this anymore. My generation and people are like kind of mixed. They got influences of traditional part also and also of uh, like modern. Still, uh, this culture exists that uh, you know you have to be more shy a little bit, to, to be more not easy. I mean, mm -hmm. and it, it's really like that. Georgian women aren't so easy. So the notion of like the male chaperone or the patroni. Patroni. <laughs> patroni is like the owner. Owner. It's not really like owner, but. Fathers and brothers are trying to be protective, super protective, overprotective with girls. And then there is just the, your future husband that is just replacing them. 
and yell like that. The disrespect is a is a big problem. Yeah, so the boy goes to see this boy who did something bad with his friends and there is there can be the fight. So like girls always try to take care of this troubles on their own. There's a scene in a famous Soviet movie called Mimino, where the lead character, this Georgian man, gets interrogated about why he has barged into a stranger's apartment. Actually, he tried to avenge his sister, who was left behind by this man, pregnant. But he doesn't admit this to the court, even if it would give him a solid reason to do so. He doesn't want to dirty up his sister's image. Moral of the story? In Georgia, it's all about ego and respect. I had the feeling that uh -huh. you have to play a certain role as a man. You know, you the leading yes. role, the mm. romantic voice, take her by the hand, lead her a bit. Like this is the mm. picture that yes. I picked up. Yes. Uh, that's interesting Same. what are you saying because Georgian women are kind of again very direct as well. Mm. They don't like mm. uh, when they're doing something what they don't want to do. Georgian language is non-binary language. I don't know if you know about it. It's okay. like just uh, there's no female male. No. Right. She and he it doesn't exist in Georgian language and I think it somehow affected our mindset as well. So we are kind of equal, you know, and women also can lead sometimes and it's mm. quite normal here now more and more it became quite very like normal that the normal, woman takes normal. charge yes mm. absolutely women actually are in control in georgia i've heard that yeah this is like wherever is you go you just like hear women shouting at their husbands men <laughs> uh, doing everything and actually most of it, like if you go around pubs or restaurants or whatever the majority of the workforce is women because they are actually there due to the fact that Men are super lazy. Hey guys, I wanted to pause this video to thank my sponsor for this set of videos, and that's Nomad Base. As some of you know, I'm what they might call a remote worker. That means I travel and work from my laptop a lot of the time. And the hardest part about that is being alone. It's difficult to travel to a new place and get to know people, and especially like-minded people. And that's part of the reason so many of us are hesitant to turn our day jobs into remote jobs. It's the fear of leaving your comfort zone, traveling to a new place, and being there completely on your own. And that's why I love a community like Nomad Base. It means that if I travel to a new country, I met with a network of like-minded people, people who understand my lifestyle, people who are creative, people who can inspire me, and people that I can network with and make projects together, potentially date even. So go check out Nomad Base today. Membership is free and you can check out one of the many chapters that they have all around the world and sign up for the newsletter and back to the video. That's What's her name? Gigli. Gigli, Marina. Nice hello, to meet you. Marina. Hello, hello. Hello, guys. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> we are most uh, matri matriarchal yeah, country yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. We, we may be thinking that the guys are like so top and cool and <laughs> No, 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 no. We are puppets. <laughs> yes, we figured it out. <laughs> This is really hard. <laughs> I should have worn sneakers today. Yeah. This reminds me of living in Portugal. This is how Portugal uh, is. Yeah. It's like the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Georgian boys are really close to their moms, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like yeah. I like your reaction. Fathers, not so much, but like for a Georgian mother, this is a big thing to have a family, to have kids. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, in like past years, they were leaving their jobs and they were not paying so much attention to their life and they were like on their kids mostly you know like when the woman is not happy about her love life her boyfriend husband then she's thinking okay i have this boy he's the only one so mm. i'm gonna make like a perfect boy from him then another girl comes and she's just taking your boy so there's jealousy that's jealousy but also like for georgian moms their boy is the best like there is not a girl that can be good. Uh, every time, every day, call from mama. Oh my God, mama, how are you? And every, every, every time. Oh my She's son. She's like, I'm you, raising a baby, you know, yes. again, all over again. <laughs> my son, do you eat today something? What do you feel? Blah, 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 blah. And it can be maybe guys who are 40, 42, 45, it doesn't matter, you know? When I was a kid, I was spending the time with my cousins. Like, there were boys and there were girls. And when boys were just saying thank you, 
And then like if I was saying why don't you clean your own house like my aunt would tell me like are not you gonna be ashamed if your cousin is cleaning that like if the boy is cleaning that and I was like can you please like clean your coffee like please I love you like you and then like they do these things But also men make meat right like the shashlik that's men's job yeah, no? Like, yeah I'm, I'm thinking like ah oh, you, you have to clean like woman cleans home but men cleans car like it's cool <laughs> So and it's like woman job man jobs yeah, like if it's a Caesar salad, woman does that, but you cannot see the boy doing like Caesar salad. Like this is most like barbecue, fish, and like strong things. <laughs> That's funny. Such a man. Strong man. Because I grew up with this mentality, mm. like there is no dating in Georgia. Mm. There is. You know somebody and there is marriage, there is, yeah. you don't meet. There's, and that so sad as well, right? Yeah. I grew up with the situation mm. kind of uh, about like 20 years, mm. you know? Mm. I was living in this mm. trash. You call it trash here. He's yeah. talking about past. <laughs> it was in the past. Yes, yes. It was. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. So it's a new there thing when you see that like there is a couple together, so people are gossiping. By the way, during my time here in Belize, I had an opportunity to stay in Hotel Magnolia. I wanted to thank them for letting me stay in such a cool hotel. It is situated so close to all the main walking spots, close to the old city center. You literally can walk anywhere from this hotel, which was super convenient for the filming of this video. Features a great breakfast buffet, a really wonderful staff, always smiling and really helpful. And my favorite, a view that is unbeatable, literally unbeatable. Finding out about the dating scene was really interesting, but I was getting kind of frustrated that no one wanted to invite me for dinner. I mean, I was in the most hospitable country. Okay, yes, I got some free ice cream, some wine and grapes, but I wanted the real deal. Suddenly, a friend messaged me. He said his friend owned a wine cellar here in Belize and wanted to invite us for a visit. By the way, Georgia is the first country in the world to produce wine. Top that, France, Spain, Italy, and Portugal. So yeah, it was definitely a cool experience to go check out how it's made and to get a bit drunk. Это ощущение, что можно прям обкуриться. And then, in an amazingly spontaneous Georgian fashion, we are invited for a supra, aka dinner party. And in this fancy restaurant of all places. Also, such a great way to learn about the culture. Some cultures have words that have no exact English translation, such as Scheidenfreude, laughing at someone's misery in Germany. Genatswali is the Georgian kind. And it said so much about the people. Genatswali, я вместо тебя беру твои. Что твое горе перешло на меня? Да. Например, когда я говорю моей бабушке Genatswali, она кричит: "Нет, это я тебе Genatswali". Вот она это принимает, что что-то я вместо него делаю. Genatswali. Genatswali. Я, конечно, сказала именно на криво, но Genatswali. Genatswali. Gabi Marjos. Gabi Marjos. We proceeded to have five more toasts which is one of the most famous traditions here. Each toast tends to have a theme. The speaker who pronounces each one is called Tamada and is generally a man. Уважать женщин. Мужчины это не то, что переводится. Не будь мужиком или мужчиной, будь человеком. Потому что мужчина у нас кати, это не только мужчина, это у нас сравнивается человеком. It was a crazy few days, not to mention hot days of filming, but I couldn't leave Belisi without attending a real-life Georgian wedding. Torniki, a subscriber of mine, managed to not only find a venue, but a family who didn't mind us dropping in and sharing the day with them. So, 
where the Georgians as hospitable as I expected. I won't lie, I was a little bit disappointed at the lack of smiles or thank yous, your welcomes in stores. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just a Canadian at this point. In short, it was a hit or miss. But when it was a hit, it really was. People opened up, soulful conversations ensued, all barriers were off. Through all the wars and conflicts, Georgians learned to live each day to its fullest. To take a moment to enjoy good food, wine, and a spontaneous conversation. And most importantly, that it all means nothing if you can't share it with someone.